Hey, sports fans out there, this is Coach EJ, The Brand. And Coach Aaron, The Source. Sports fans, today we're going to talk about execution and effort. And sometimes how that gets conflated by today's athletes. In other words, sometimes athletes think, as long as I'm putting in the effort, then everything is going to be okay. But from a coach's standpoint and a trainer's standpoint, execution is probably more important. And so I guess it, it, it may be another way of, of talking about the age old question of quality versus quantity. Mm. What do you think, EJ? Well, I always say this, Aaron, you gotta take what you do in practice and take it to the game. So, you know, you get all the reps you want to or get as many reps you want you still have to produce. So, Aaron, I'm 100% behind what you're saying. That execution versus an, an effort, you know, what does that mean? It's significant in a young player's development in any sport that they participate in. And I, I see it on a pretty good regular basis is that I hear this term that many parents use, you gotta get a reps in, you know, and I go, well, what does that mean? You know, gotta get my reps in. Does that mean that you're just gonna get a whole hundred, a hundred reps and you're not doing it right and you're getting better? Or is it the quality or the execution of, of that rep that leads you to better, better success in the performance of the activity you're doing, whether it's game, match, uh, race, whatever. The, the bottom line is this, Aaron. You have to produce during the time you need it to be. And that's whether it's in a race, a game, whatever, you have to execute during that time. And I think going out there, just getting a whole bunch of reps and it means nothing. We're not getting anywhere doing that. And what you just described is performance. Right. And so I think there needs to be a consciousness of, of both, you know, what I got to get the appropriate reps in, you know, because you got to have that repetition in terms of drilling and grooving the right techniques and things like that so that you become proficient. But you've also got to be conscious of how those reps are being executed. And to pull the lens back, basically what that means is purposeful training. And we've talked about that before. Yes. And it's something that's pretty simple for us to see in track and field because you can blindly run laps. Okay. You know, a, a, a coach might assign four 300s. Well, are you going to run them? Are you going to run them to survive? <laughs> are you going to execute them? Oh. Those are pretty much your choices. Yes. And, and so I always tell the, the athletes that you, there should always be a purpose with every run. You should be working on something. You should be trying to execute something. That's how you get the most out of those reps. Otherwise, it's the same thing I tell clients when they come in. You just want to get tired. Well, there's no need to walk in my gym. I'll just run you up and down the driveway for the next hour. So all you want to do is get tired. Right. You know? So, right. right. So I, I think there needs to be an eye kept on the term purposeful. And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you change reps into an acronym, repeating effort purposely with skill. How about that? You know? I love that. <laughs> I love that. You, know, you want to use the term reps. But uh, I, I just think that that aspect of execution should never be lost. And, and doing reps for reps sake, or doing reps because you think that's what's gonna get you there, um, is not the key if you've talked to any accomplished coach or trainer. Right. You know, it's, uh, it brings back a lot of memories of, of training athletes, number one, in, in, in baseball, for me personally. Uh, some of the repetitions I put in playing golf professionally. Um, oh yeah, golf is a perfect example. I was I was gonna tell you, it, your practice in golf has to be precise. Yes, yes. It has to be, you just can't go and beat balls and just put balls and chip balls. You have to- well, I do. <laughs> we all do, right? Yeah. <laughs> But you know, when you at that level playing professionally, when I was doing that, and still continue to throw my 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 game out there occasionally on the, the Champions Tour, 
Um, the biggest thing I see is that when I need to go into a competition, I need to have my practice just on point regimen, putting, chipping. How much, what kind of chipping are you going to do? Are you going right. to do some drop shots? Are you going to do some low bump and runs? Are you going to, are you going to be putting off the greens to get used to the surface? It's that purposeful practice or executing what you're going to see during the tournament. You know, I got to work on my driving. I got to work on hitting a draw or hitting a cut because the course is this kind of condition or it's this kind of layout. So what you say speaks very loud and clear, I hope, hopefully to the parents and to the, to the athletes out there that, you know, having this purpose behind your execution of your skill set to play out in your match or game or whatever or race it needs to be down to a science so you can just let it flow when you play now i think that's important letting it flow instead of making it happen you know people say let's make it happen i always say if you execute and you purposely practice you can let it happen naturally it comes out my definition of performance you couldn't have said it better my friend <laughs> love it man love it i love that aaron i love that right there it's good funny stuff how, right there yeah. funny how all this comes full circle it, it sure does man it comes full circle and i and i hope that people understand uh that mentality and, and, and what it takes to be a next level athlete regardless your age you're trying to get to the next level that you understand what uh that execution and effort means I would wrap it up there, my friend. All right. Sports fans out there, good listening today to the brand, Coach EJ. And Coach Aaron, the source. We'll see you. See you later.